Hey YouTube, it's Shaker here and we're bringing you another one. I'm a digital artist who likes to watch movies with the people and we're about to do the top 10 best streaming shows and movies of 2023. I don't really do breakdowns for the streaming shows and movies and stuff like that. And the reason why is because I need something I can watch that I ain't got to think about, okay? Because everything else I got to think about. So that's the stuff I just watch and I don't have to think. I just can sit there and watch it if I decide to watch it. But I do want to tell you guys some of the ones that I thought was really good that should be highlighted. And we're going to rank it from 10 to 1. Oh, yes. Number 10, Foundation on Apple TV. This is second season. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal because when the foundation first came out I was like wow this is a really good show nobody talking about this is really really good so the thing was I was like I don't know if it's because of the pepperoni or anything but it was a good show is it coming back they bought it back and I'm like alright now that you bought back, you gonna keep it or what? What's going on? Really, 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 really good show. It's about not really like time travel in the sense of like like jumping in time, but more so like ah, like time jumping in a sense of like I'm gonna go into a time capsule and then come out a hundred years from now, over and over and over again. It's a lot of that. Like they don't care about jumping time. In this movie, they don't care if they like, all right, we started at this time and now we're going to jump a thousand years and keep on going. All right, now we're going to jump a hundred years. Oh, well, all those people are dead. doesn't matter. We're moving on. This is this. This whole situation is a situation. <laughs> and really good show. Don't sleep on Apple TV. Don't sleep on them. Number nine, Carol and the End of the World on Netflix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really good. Not only was it... A really unique style like everybody looked really like odd but the concept was really good and I really hope they do a season two um, I didn't know if I was gonna like it it's not really for kids but it's not like super super just unnecessarily crazy it just has a deeper message of okay they they know they got seven months <laughs> world going in what you gonna do so most of the world do what everybody do. They party, they going crazy, da, da, but then there's people like Carol who just, now before the world was gonna end, they already didn't have like much of a purpose. They were very melancholy type of people. So now they're even more melancholy because they're like, now I can do everything and don't even know what to do. And she finds herself in a regular nine to five office where people are just still working, like nothing's going on. And she finds herself there <laughs> uh, and becomes, she blossoms there and then even blossoms the people that are there. It's a really beautiful story. Um, and I definitely think you guys should check it out on Netflix. Number eight, Chicken Run 2, also on Netflix. This was a movie. If you remember the first Chicken Run, you already know they was about that life and wasn't about that life all at the same time. They wasn't playing them games. They was like, oh, she out here making pot pies? Chicken pot pies? I'm not gonna be one of those ones in there. I'm not gonna be one of the ones in the chicken pot pie. So we need to get on out of here. And they got themselves out of there so they was a chicken run. They was chicken running, okay? Now we got a chicken too, that same lady bag. But now she making nuggets. <laughs> she like new day, new age. We like nuggets now, we do. We love some nuggets. <laughs> McDonald's got some good nuggets. Wendy's got them the same sponsor. But I'm just saying they got good nuggets, okay? Just saying, point is, this was a really great movie, and I was trying to tell some people I know that animation, in my opinion, is already like one of the highest forms of art. But when you do stop motion animation, I think you've reached the peak of insanity, really, because these people are crazy. I know artists are crazy, and I know animators are crazy, but when you go to the stop motion level of, of art, of animation, <laughs> mental, these people. Mental, how? You can make it that smooth that it looks like 3D, like it looks like 3D animation. What in the world? Craziness, craziness. Number seven, they cloned Tyrone on Netflix. I know you're like, well, you're just giving all the Netflix. Well, that's where most of the stuff is at, all right? This is a movie. This is with Jamie Foxx. I was about to call him Eddie Murphy, Eddie Griffin. I was going to go all down the black names. But really good movie. And it's one of those movies that at first it's just funny and kind of like weird and crazy. And it's like, what's going on here? Really great texture. 
But then it's like, wow, people are really mind controlled into doing things. Like society and the government will get you to believe that this is how things are and don't question nothing. Um, and that's not okay. And this was a good movie to highlight that. Not just in the black community, but just across the board in every realm. Number six, shrinking. Ah, uh, <laughs> Apple TV. Y'all be sleeping on Apple TV, but they got all the good shows. You know, they got the money, so they can give us some cinema. They can give us some cinema attack. Okay, here's the thing about it. Apple TV knows how to give you a good concept and then they just run with that. This show gives me everything. Okay, listen, he's a therapist. Who needs therapy? <laughs> needs it desperately, you know what I'm saying? He's going through it. And he, through his journey of fixing himself, he starts finding a unconventional way of therapizing, is that a word? The people that his, his, his patients, where it's like, you're not really supposed to do that, HIPAA laws and all that stuff, but they start to change. And then through their change, he's changing and he's overcoming his, you know, I think the death of his wife and, you know, his daughter's, you know, falling out of love of him and all these things. So really good touching, but mostly funny, Mo leaning more funny than touching. Really, really good show. Number five, Hilda season three on Netflix. This is such a warm, feel good, you know, sleeping in the meadow type of show. This little girl goes on these adventures, it's animated, going on these adventures um, with her friends and in this weird town with these little rock people. This was different because she they go to visit her aunt who they haven't visited in a long time and there's a whole fairy situation happening in that town and she finds some truths about herself and her family through this journey and that's me not giving you any spoilers really good movie well it's a show but they do have a movie after this it was season one two a movie and then season three definitely check it out i didn't even think it was coming back and it came back i'm so excited about that number four Ghosts on Paramount Plus. Listen, this show is so funny. It's such a great concept. And from what I know, it's from like a British version of it. And then they brought it here. I don't know. Point is, really, really good. Basically, this lady goes and gets themselves a really big house so they can do a BRB situation. But she falls, hits her head, and now she can see the ghosts that live there and, and ghosts all across the board. And these ghosts are crazy. <laughs> they do whatever they want to do. And they all have a, like one little small power. Like one person can kind of move things, but it's like, it takes a lot of energy. Um, if you walk through them, not only does it hurt, but then they like have, they have a certain smell or like certain things can happen. Like, you know, just crazy things. If you walk through them, stuff will happen. Okay. And they go through the works trying to figure out who they are, what's going on, what what happened to them. I mean, they they know what happened to them, but like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did it happen? What's the purpose of it happening? Um, and it's so funny, so stupid, so silly. And I really hope it's a season three because season two was hilarious. Number three, The Last of Us, Max. Man, this was a good one. This was the one that said, yes, you can make a game and turn that game into a show or a movie and it will be successful. The Last of Us was so stinking good, y'all. <laughs> now, I never played the game, but I've watched people play the game, so I already kind of knew the story and I've seen gameplays of it. So it was already a really cool adventure to see how much of the game will they keep in it, and they did a lot of it. There was maybe only a few episodes that was like a little bit different where they added to the story, which I thought was necessary, but man, it was so good. Good. And Pedro Pascal <laughs> killed it. You know what I'm saying? He killed that role and he was believable. You felt he's over it. His, you know, he lost his daughter and now you got this little girl trying to be his daughter in his mind. And it's like, I'm not trying to be attached. And then he's getting attached. You know, I need to rewatch these shows. This was, real, this was really good. Really, really, really good. Number two, Schmichago on Apple TV. Listen. <laughs> First season was Schmigadoon. 
Second she season is Chicago. Listen, they need to do a third season, smick it. You know what I mean? So what it is, is, it's this couple, they found themselves in this town. This is the first season. And it's a musical town. People are singing, dancing, just craziness is going on. Craziness is going on. And the purpose of it was for them to find themselves again. They lost the joy in the relationship. They lost the joy. And they needed something that reminded them of the joy that was inside. And this town did it. In the second season, similar thing, but it was more of a, dang, the joy that we had in in Schmickadoon, we don't have that same joy here. Although we're happy together, it was so much happier there. Okay, how about let's go back? Let's go back to visit. But when they went back, it wasn't the, the, the same town, same people, but the town was now more like Chicago, the, the, the Broadway play, the Broadway musical, and a little bit more like Sweeney Todd, the Broadway musical. So things was a little bit different there. <laughs> ah, such a good concept. So I'm like, all right, well, in the third season, let's do Wicked. Let's do the magical musicals. Let's do the Wizard of Oz musicals, the Wonkas. Come on, <laughs> give it to us. We, you know you got it. You know that's the direction you got to go. What other direction you going to go? Please give it to us. Now, before we get into the number one spot, let's do the honorable mentions. First honorable mention, Murder Mystery 2 on Netflix. The first one was really, really good. The second was also good. They're probably equally as good, to be honest. Same type of movie, different problem. Um, it's a couple. They kind of like these they are detective, but you know. They ain't really, really detectives, you know? They're kind of doing whatever they want to do. And it's that murder mystery clue vibes where it's like, you know, trying to figure out who the murder is. So, so good. So, so funny. Um, and it just didn't make it on list because I ain't want to do more than 10 people. So, more than 10 things. So, that was really the only reason they didn't make it on list. Next honorable mention. Only Murderers in the Building, Season 3, on Hulu. Listen. Uh, Mel Streep's in this one. We love Mel Streep. One of my favorite actors of all time is Mel Streep. So it was great to see her in the show. She brought a great character to it. Um, this wasn't the best season out of the three seasons, but it was still pretty, pretty good. Now, did it get the rankings that it needed? I don't know. I don't think so. But I hope they come back with a season four. And I'm excited to see these crazy three people in their murder mystery podcast where murders just keep on happening around them. They are the nicest people, but death is around them. <laughs> death is around these people. Next honorable mention, Hijack on Apple TV. This has Idris Alba as this like undercover, uh, like calmer downer. <laughs> Like he calms things down. Um, it's a really good show. There were moments where I'm like, if you calm down another person instead of just stabbing them or punching them or shooting them. Um, but it was really good. I love a concept that kind of takes place in one place. Whole season, main place is the plane. They on a plane is being hijacked. And they like, we got to keep this thing. We got to keep people alive, keep things together. Of course, there's other scenes like the, you know, the airports and the, you know, the person on the phone, we call the, 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 the person that you call, with, the, the dispatch person, all that stuff. But the main, main place is a plane, and I love that concept. Um, like I said, it just didn't make it on the list because I wasn't trying to do, I wasn't trying to do more than 10 people. <laughs> That's it. And the last honorable mention is you people. <laughs> Really, really good. First of all, this is an Eddie Murphy movie. It's fun to finally see Eddie Murphy coming back and doing more movies. Um, I know he has a, uh, a Beverly Hills Cop movie coming out in 2024. I didn't see the trailer yet. I'm going to check it out. Um, so I'm looking forward to see him in that movie. First of all, I don't even remember any of those movies, so I might need to do it back and watch the first one with you guys. But I'm excited to see that. But to see him in movies again, it's, it's not the same young Eddie Murphy, but it's still Eddie Murphy, and it's great. I love this concept of a blended family trying to figure it out. You know, my black daughter brought in the white boy. My white son brought in the black girl. What's going on here? I love that. It's funny. Um, there's some, like, cultural, um, you know, things in there, and I love that for us. Definitely click right here 
if you want to see the top 10 best Eddie Murphy movies since we talked about it. And let's see where you people falls on the ranking. Okay, now before we go into the number one spot, I want you to let me know in the comments. I'm sure there is some other streaming things that came out. It's so much streaming. So there was no way we could do like a ranking or that I could do more. I was like, I'm going to keep it to 10. Just pick some stuff that I saw and we're going to see how we can rank it out there. But let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else or any other thing that I'm missing. You're like, no, you should have had that on the list or you need to go check that out. Let me know because I would love to have something I can watch. <laughs> huh. Number one. didn't add low key. Oh, if I don't add this in, I'm going to die. People are gonna actually murder me and we have to add it in. So, it's not gonna be number one. And at first I was like, it's number one, but when I thought about the number one slot, I was like, it probably would still be number two for me, even though it was phenomenal. So move all of those other and number two is low key. <laughs> Low key, I feel bad because nobody was really giving it what it was supposed to be giving, yet it was giving us everything it was supposed to have gave. Numbers two, season two, phenomenal. The first one was phenomenal. Actually, the first one gave us so much promise because remember, WandaVision came out really good, and then low key season, season one came out, and we're like, oh, yeah. oh so y'all giving us. I never even cared about low key until that. So then when season two was coming out, you know, I know there's a lot going on, Jonathan Razor and all that stuff. But the point is, I'm like, all right, this still should be so good. And it was even better. Not only was it more dramatic, the cinematography was amazing, but the acting, the premise, the way it ended, I ain't going to spoil nothing, but the way it ended, last episode, man, so good. And I love the time travel. I love the glitching and the jumping around. So much fun. So much fun. So, yeah, so whatever number two was, because now I don't even remember what number two was. Whatever number two was, is number three, number four, is number five, number five. You got to push it all back. So we had 11, number 10 is number 11. Just do the math. Do the math. Do the math. <sighs> number one, Silo, Apple TV. I'm sorry. That's the best show on streaming of 2023. Silo, I can't wait for the next season. Um, it's very much this, like, dystopian, like, rustic, uh, cyberpunk, but not too cyber-y, like, with all the neon lights, type of vibe in this underground city in a silo. Not only is it a great concept, but the look and the design of it is fantastic. And it's one of those, they have a situation where if you say, I want to go outside, you got to go outside. So they don't say, I want to go outside. Their life is not horrible. It's not like a like they're in a horrible situation. They have a, they're living okay. But there's, you know, there's always ranking when you go up and down. It takes 24 hours, I think they said, to go from the top to the bottom with walking there's no like elevators or anything whole situation um there's a boiler that you know warms the whole thing there's a situation with that there there's can't there's no windows to the outside but there's a camera to the outside so there's a questioning thing about that so i don't want to give anything away because i really would love for you guys to go and watch silo i really am hoping they're working on the season two and it would be nice if it was next year but i doubt it but i'm looking forward to see where does this go this story go from here <laughs> where does it go from here anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that list if you have not already don't forget to like subscribe push that notification button because we're going to keep bringing this stuff to you that's it i'm sorry uh what are you doing i know you're not about to leave it's mad buttons down there you ain't push down one of them you better subscribe to my channel see you soon